So in this video, we're going to be analyzing gold and AUD USD. So I'll start with gold from the higher time frame. I've already shared like the setup uh, and then took the trade on the third touch. This is the first touch. This is the second touch. And then this is the third touch whereby we took the trade. So let me just share like the overall market structure and how I was looking at this nice setup. So from the higher time frame of which is the daily, I'll just remove each and everything. And then from the daily time frame, what I was looking at is this high point and this high point also, and then the lower low, which is this one here. And then we had this nice ascending channel, just like this. And then after having the ascending channel, as you can see at the top of the structure, we have two touches. And then at the bottom of the structure, we have two touches also. So you can just aim at getting like the overall third touch as your overall take profit or the lows here for the 90% rule. So on the four hour time frame, what I was looking at is this ascending channel around this point. And then on this scenario here, I'll just pattern separate each and everything just because there are a lot of patterns around here. So we had this ascending channel at that mass psychology area, as you can see. And then on the hour time frame, that is where we took the nice setup. And then as you can see, if you try and pattern separate everything, you'll see that this is a pattern on its own of which it's an ascending channel, just like this. And then you have the low point, which is here. And then I'll just leave like these areas here. And then I'll focus on the current market structure, of which is this one here. And then as you can see at the top of the structure, we have the first touch, second touch, and then this is the third touch. So we're in line with the market structure. And then I'll just remove a few of these. And then we have the low point around here. So we have like some type of an expanding. And then as you can see here, this is an impulse down, the corrective move in form of an ascending channel. And then we have the impulse down. Then we have the larger flag here in form of an expanding pattern. So let me just draw out like a few patterns of which is this one here. There's a pattern on its own also, just like this. And then we had this push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, corrective move. And then we look for those nice selling opportunities of which we are on the third touch. And then we took it just like this. Our stops are just above this area here. And then we are targeting this area here for the third touch. And then the overall target, it's at around the 90% of which it's on the higher time frame. Just like this, of which it's a 38% 30, move, whereby we're just going to target like this area here. After we hit like the 18%, we can just move our stops to break even and just hold the trade up until we see uh, any changes from it. So looking at AUD USD. So on AUD USD, we haven't taken the trade. And I think it's ready at the moment just because we had like this pattern here candlestick formation here of which it's an override or an engulfing candlestick pattern. As you can see, we have like the red, the green candle followed by a big red candle. So it's an engulfing candlestick pattern. And then you take it from this point and your stop loss can be just above like this area here. Or you can just look left and make sure that you are using some type of a high here or a low high so that you can get protected. So looking at the overall market structure, how the trade has formed up as you can see here we are just looking at this impulse down corrective move impulse down corrective move another impulse down another corrective move another impulse down and then we have the corrective move whereby it led to this double top formation here as you can see around this point we have this double top formation just like this so that is why we are taking those selling opportunities and then looking at the overall structures, you can see that we have the one, two, three. So we have a few confluences that can uh, make us take the trade here. So looking at the higher time frame, which is the daily, I'll just remove everything. So looking at the structures, you can see that we are pushing to the downside very nicely. And then looking at the top of the structure, we have this double top formation of which is this high here and this high here. And then we created some type of a mass psychology activation. 
looking at the lows, we have the slow point, and then we have the ascending channel, just like this. And then after getting that ascending channel, we pushed to the downside very nicely, as you can see. On the higher time frame, we have this push to the downside, corrective move, push to the downside, larger corrective move in the right areas, whereby this is the ambler zone. And then that is where you can take a sell, just because we are at the larger flag formation. And then on the third touch, that is where you can likely take the trade. So on the four hour time frame, we can see like the overall structure very nicely just because we have the lows here. You can connect the lows and you can connect the highs. However, you feel like uh, connecting them, it's okay. So you can just connect them like this and then you have like this ascending channel. And then we can have like this area here as our POI just because this can create that double top formation or create that larger flag whereby we have the small flag pushed to the downside of which it will fail and then come back to create like a double top formation before pushing to the downside. So that is how I was looking at AUD USD. And then we haven't taken the trade so far, We're just waiting for more confirmations. Just because we have a push to the upside of which it was very impulsive. I'm talking about this one here. There's an impulsive leg whereby you just have to wait up until you get like some clear commitment from the market. So looking at this area here, I can just connect this one and this one. And then if you connect this one, you'll see that you have like a that touch formation, but I'd rather take this one here, of which is the current market structure. And then let me just clean this out a bit also. So we have this type of formation, whereby I'm just waiting to see how the market will react from here or from here, of which this would be the first touch, second touch, and then the third touch whereby I'd like to take a risk entry at the top of the structure. And then the first target would be around this area here. Let's say I take the cell around this point. Let me just do this. And then the market is in this area here, of which is the right area for us to sell. Then you take your cell, then your stop loss can be just above. You target the third charge for about 8%. And then the 90% of this area here, Around this point, let's see, we have 13%, and then of which we target the overall 90% of which is this one here for about 88%. And then I know you cannot take like the overall 38%, but if you manage it correctly, you can. If you don't put like your tight stops, if you don't trail stop very tight, then you can have like the overall 38% if it works in our favor. So what I'll be waiting for in this area is this risk entry at the top of the structure. If that does not happen, then I'll be looking at this double top override, a clear push to the downside, and then we can have a first tight flag happening around this area. Let me just remove this one. And then six to eight hours. After six hours, you can just place your cell just below this area here. And then just like this. And then you still target the same areas. You target the third touch, of which it's around this point for about 3.77%. And 90% of this ascending is around 6.56%. And then the overall target, it's at around 24%, of which is still okay, just because the first trade was at around 38%. And then the second option would be at around 24%. So yeah, that is how I'm looking at AUD, USD, and gold.